Hi. What are you doing there? I'm doing a watercolour. I'm painting this lovely Henry Moore sculpture and looking through it. Mm. I've done a lot of that sort of thing. Um, those sort of watercolours where you're framed or you're looking through something, through a tunnel to the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be particularly resonant um, over the lockdown period. I mean, I don't know, I've got a few here. That one was one I did here. Uh, it's under the tunnel, uh, underneath the bridge there. Yeah. And uh, I love the colours, it pops up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I love pops out at you. I love the light. So it's all about the light for me. So the dark and the, the blue the richness of the light. Yeah. yeah. I, I found like through this pandemic thing, I started off doing lots of watercolours mm. and they were all the light at the end of the tunnel, that idea. And, and it resonated, lots of people were buying them. And I think it's a bit like the process we've been going through. So after that, I've been doing a lot of, of self-portraits. Mm. I did a whole project of self-portraits every day. So it's like the fear, you're looking forward, and then the self-analyzing, -analy <laughs> probably the transformation at the end, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about self-analysis, you, have you changed a lot over the years in your practice and you know, when you started to now? Oh, absolutely. When I was a child, I grew up, it was a misogynistic era. I was a young girl in a family full of boys. I never felt like my voice was being heard because it wasn't. <laughs> and, um, and then I thought, you know, I thought, well, maybe if I used a different medium, if I started painting, then people could hear me more easily. Yes. And that's how I started painting. And, and it went on. I was really trying to find myself through painting. And then it's, trans trans it's moved again, transformed again. Mm. And now it became about what unites us all rather than looking for me. Mm. I was like looking for what unites humanity, yeah. <laughs> really. And um, is that nature? Well, yes. Is that well, yes. There's a lot of that in your work. A lot of nature. And yeah, it's also about the stillness. Yeah, stillness is in that, like that one of your, with your son actually in the water has also yeah. got that. And you managed to get the ripple effects like... Yes, you exactly. know, capturing the movement of the stillness is I, quite a feat. I love the water. Because there's so much going on in it. So stillness is never still. Mm. Stillness, I would think, is rich and nurturing, mm. actually. So, um, yeah, you look at the water, you've got reflections above, you've got, like, you can see beyond it, you can see the trees, you can see the sky, yeah. the, you can see the wind because of the ripples. So there's so much in any little bit of water. It's mm. so rich and full of life, but yet, you know, in in a painting, it's always still. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And do you, is that is that a reflection of um, what you like to look for in your work? Like, how do you feel when you're painting, and when, how do you like other people to feel? Mm. Why well, exactly? It's it's all about that moment of just letting go, let, mm. losing yourself. Mm. So yeah. when I paint, when I'm really in it, I. I don't know what I don't know what time it is, which has yeah. caused a lot of problems. <laughs> been there for hours, and you know I don't know how long I've been there. I just lose myself in it because mm. I'm so absorbed. Yes. and I think it's that thing of being absorbed, mm. which nature does mm. so easily. You drop into it. Yes. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to express. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll get you, but let you get back to your work. Oh, thank you. But what what advice would you give to your younger self? Would you, anyone oh. here? definitely be a little more confident it was just you know when you're younger you have that inner voice that's telling you things that is absolutely spot on i realize now yes but you always think everyone outside you knows better so you compromise yourself yes to to fit in or whatever it is you think it will do but really if i only had the courage to really stay with what I felt yeah. and I and yeah. you know that would have been well I, I it's a process I'm, I'm much happier now I'm much more able to do that now <laughs> that's, that's good advice <laughs> I'm gonna feed off that advice too. <laughs> well can't wait to see what you come up with okay well I'll show you later yeah, can't wait <laughs> bye Maya bye <laughs>